Hey yo. So I got a message coming from Matthew chapter 20, verse 20 through 28. And it is entitled, A Mother's Request. Then came to him the mother of Zebedee, children with her sons, worshiping him and desiring a certain thing of him. And he said to her, What wilt thou? She said unto him, Grant that these my two sons may sit, the one at thy right hand and the other at thy left hand of thy kingdom. A mother is requesting that her son is able to be the bridegroom. She is requesting that her son is able to be the bridegroom. But Jesus answered and said, Ye know not what you ask. Are you able to are you able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of and to be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? And they said, we are able. So the Lord is asking them, are you able to do the, th do the things that I have done and get baptized under my name? Are you willing to spread the word of the Lord and Savior of the gospel, the true word, and get baptized in my name? And they said, we are able. And he said unto them, ye shall drink indeed of my cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit at the right hand and on the left is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is, for whom it is prepared of the father. The Lord is saying, you can go out and you can teach my word and you can get baptized under my name. But to be the bridegroom is not my place to give. The bridegroom's place are those who are prepared by the father. which means they have already done the work they have already put in the work for their brides. These are this is a woman and and her sons who are coming and presenting a request to the Lord who haven't put in any work, who haven't been baptized in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, yet they want a wife that belongs to the Lord. They want a godly woman. They want someone they want a woman who belongs to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But they haven't put in any work. They haven't done the Lord's will. But they're requesting to be the husband of 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 one of his brides. And when the ten heard heard it, meaning the ten the ten virgins when they heard of this, they moved with indignation against the two brethren. What does indignation mean? It means to be anger, angry, aroused by something unjust, unworthy, or mean. So this is how the woman is feeling, or the ten virgins are feeling. How dare you ask to be my husband, trying to skip over those who have done the work? What makes you worthy? It wouldn't be fair and it would also be mean for the for the father to do so. It would be mean for the father to put you ahead of the man, the men who have already put in work, who have done his will, who have who has done what he has told them to do, and to put you before them. And to give me to a man who has not even done the work of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who has not done what, what the father has asked them to do. Who do you think you are to be my husband? Who do you think you are to be my husband? For the for my father, the Lord, God, who do you think you are for him to give me to you? And you haven't done anything that he has asked you to do. How dare you? How dare you ask? How dare you ask for the how dare you ask for a bride? from from God and you haven't done the work and you haven't put in the work 
You haven't, you haven't done nothing that the Lord has asked you to do, but you want a bride from him. You want one of his daughters. But Jesus called, un Jesus called them unto him and said, Ye know that the princes of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them, and that they and that and they that are great exercise authority upon them. But it shall not be so among you. But whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. And whosoever will be a chief among you, let him be your servant. Even as the Son of Man came not to the minister unto him unto, but to minister and to give uh and to give his life a ransom for many. So the Lord is saying, I don't have authority over these women. God does, the Father does. And even I, myself, the Son, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, even I had to put in work. Even I had to do something. So if the Lord and Savior had to do something, who are you to think that you can just come or, or send your mother because she is a praying woman? Who are you guys to think you are to just come and say, I want one of your brides and not do and not put in nobody's work, not doing nothing that the Lord has told you to do. The Lord said, even I have to, even I had to do something, even I had to put in work in order to get the church. In order to get the church, in order to get a, the bride, even I had to do something. Even I had to put in work. I was the son of God and sitting at the right hand. And I couldn't just come and I couldn't just get the bride. I couldn't just get the church. I had to put in some work. I had to eat. I had to give, lay down my life as a ransom for many as the, as the husband will have to do for his wife. He will have to give up his own life. His own will, his own ways, and his own wants in order to get a bride from God. So if the if the if the Lord and Savior, the Son of God, had to do it, what makes you think that you won't have to? How dare you? How dare you and your mother? <laughs> How dare you and your mother? Okay. That's the message. You can't get one of you can't get one of God's daughters. Until you have put in the work. He said the, the brides are for the sons who have already put in the work. Who have already done his will and his way. Who have already given up their life for the Lord. And for their wives. The, 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 the women of uh, the daughters of God are for men who are already prepared for them. You're not even prepared. You haven't done nothing that the Lord had. You ha you're not prepared. You haven't done nothing that the Lord asked you to do. How dare you? That's the message. Peace.